sure time marches on, but it marches ever so slowly along Billy the Kid National Scenic Byway. Lincoln is at the heart of the byway, and not much has changed at all in this once wildest of western towns. Lincoln is probably the best preserved old west town in the United States, and many people are surprised to find it that way because it just doesn't look like the Hollywood version of what an old west town looked like. But uh, this is the real thing. Favoring authentic over Hollywood, Lincoln even offers stagecoach rides that give visitors a bone-jarring and butt-bouncing taste of 19th century reality. Among the many Lincoln landmarks is the Murphy Dolan store, which became the Lincoln Courthouse and Jail, which became famous when Billy escaped in 1881, killing two deputies in the process. Legend has it one of the bullet holes from Billy's gun still marks the courthouse stairwell. But all is not about Billy on the byway that bears his name. He shares fame with a bear. The real Smokey Bear survived a fire in the Lincoln National Forest in 1950 and went on to fame as the furry face of fire safety. Smokey died in 1975 and is buried beside his museum in the small town of Capitan. Poor old he never got a kiss. Do you like cowboy stuff? Like cowboy music? Or cowboy food? Or cowboy history? Or cowboy transportation? It is all available along Billy's Byway. In fact, the Lincoln County Cowboy Symposium is a celebration of all things cowboy each October. That's at Ruidoso Downs, where you can also find horse racing and one of the three casinos on this byway. World-class golf in the warmer months and skiing in the cold are also popular area attractions that Billy the Kid never saw in his lifetime, just as he never saw the distinct outline of the famed Spencer Theater. But he did see Fort Stanton, which is now a state monument. There is so much along this byway that isn't about the young outlaw hero legend, so why did Billy get top billing? It's hard to forget him. He had personality coming out of his ears, which is the real reason he became a legend. He didn't kill all those people they claim he killed. He killed four men, not 21, four that we know of anyway. Even if the thick cloud of history isn't your thing, even if you aren't a cowboy at heart, even if the echoes of legendary gunslinging don't entice you, Billy's Byway is beautiful. They do call it a scenic byway, after all. <laughs> 